doctor, we are from group 3 and today we are going to present about our FTIR experiment. So we use beverage as our sample in this experiment and we just need a little and put it in the beaker. So next I will show you the equipment that we use which is the FTIR Spectrum 100 which is Fourier Transform Infrared Spectrometer. Okay to start just put one drop of our sample which is the beverage on the surface. After a few seconds the result will appear on the screen of the computer using the software which is the measurement of the sample using the spectra. Now, let's hear some explanation from Mr. Right. Sivan. So now, uh, we're going to head on to results. Okay, so results over here, you can see uh, from this range to this range, you have OH stretching. And then uh, followed by CH stretching, C double bond O, CH bending and uh, S double bond O stretching. Uh, I'll explain this later in the discussion. So this is just to show the entire uh, Excel graph of how it is, the infrared spectrum. Next. Alright, uh, let me just read this real quick. The Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy, copy FTIR in other words, is a technique used to obtain an infrared spectrum or absorption of absorption or emission of a solid, liquid or even gas. So right now, what we're going to do, we're going to emit uh, infrared light and we're going to see whether or not uh, the certain substance reflects it or emits it. And uh, with that, a, a spectrum will be created showing uh, whether showing the bonds that is present in the substance in the sample so in, in some cases it will be polymeric uh, inorganic or even organic all right next so this is the data that we obtained the range uh, we got this from a reliable source over here so the range from 3550 to 3200 it shows a sharp and a medium range and we got 3399 a functional bond we get OH and since uh, this is actually quite uh, I would say true why because okay over here we, we the sample we used was a juice and OH bond is present in water and juice has lots of water in it all right followed by 3000 to 200 2810 it showed alkane CH bond a carbon group or uh, it's an uh, organic bond and then uh, over here, uh, CH bond there's two, but in a, at a different range. So one of it is alkane compound class, another one is lactone compound class, and then followed by, uh, and then later we'll have the last one we have is strong sulfone bond is S double bond O at a at a wavelength of 1162, which falls in this range 1160 to 1122, and uh, that's about it from from results and discussion. If you cannot see the pictures or images that Mr. Seven shown in the slides, these are all the attachment of the pictures.